Hello guys, this is Adam. Welcome to the Adam Lab. This is Unreal Engine and this is the test on the M1 MacBook Air with 16 gigabyte of RAM instead of the Mac Mini that I usually do the testing on. Things to keep in mind before we get started. No, I did not do a time machine backup which means I did a transfer Unreal Engine from the old machine to the newer machine. No, it was on a fresh install. Second, did I try to build it through the source code? Yes, I did try that. It did fail. Or more or like it didn't work. Third, are the results different than the Mac Mini? They are a little bit different, but definitely we will um, get into it. But if you are here for the short version, yes, it does work on the M1 uh, MacBook Air. Yes, it is faster with 16 gigabyte of RAM. We're getting around 30 to 40 frames per second more than the Mac Mini. So with the Mac Mini, I used to get something in the realm of 80 frames. With this one, I am getting in the realm of 110 to 120 frames which means definitely the performance is better and I believe the reason is since the integrated graphic chip is an integrated graphic chip basically it's with the RAM since there is more RAM so it would allocate more gigabytes to the graphic power which means it would definitely be better so is it worth it if you are using Unreal to get 16 gigabyte of RAM the answer is simply yes as for the version which version does work I did try the most recent one, the 26, it didn't work. I did try the 25, it didn't work. I did try the 2.20, it didn't work. Again, the 2.19 did work without issues and that's the version that I have right here. And as you can see right now, I am moving the car and I am getting around 80 to 90 frames. Keep in mind, I am recording the screen and I have an external monitor connected. That's why there is a performance hit, but if I do it, only on the laptop without anything or at least turn off recording I will definitely be getting around 130 frames and it's the same case when I did test the Mac Mini as well. Now one thing that is interesting instead of stopping at 18% whatever version I am downloading it will stop this time at 35 because usually with the Mac Mini it used it to stop at 18% and then shut down and would not work for example if I downloaded the 20 the 4.25 version it will work it will get to 18% then stop but now it's getting to 35% now some of you might ask did you install Xcode yes I did install Xcode I am mainly an iOS developer so Xcode is always installed and Xcode is always there so I always have Xcode installed. And that's literally the short version. If you came for that, do not forget to like and subscribe as well. Now let's get into more details and discuss stuff a little bit further. So first of all, as you are seeing right now, we are getting around 90 frames per second. What I will do, I will stop the recording and then we will see how much I will be getting. So I did stop the recording and we are getting 110 to 120. And to show you that in a better aspect, as you can see right now, we are hovering between 110, 120, getting sometimes to 90, it really depends, and the MS is around 9. So with that, we are definitely getting a better performance when we have 16 gigabyte of RAM because more RAM means there is more graphic power simply. So if you are running games, they will run without issues. If there is more testing that you want me to get done. Definitely leave them in the comments so I can get to them. And I will for sure be doing more testing when it comes to Blender since I love Blender now and I am really starting to learn Blender. And I will for sure be doing the BMW test. And I will try as well to do it on the Mac Mini, but no promises because literally the Mac Mini has been sitting here for a while without it being used and I will show you right now so it's literally just that I I haven't used it in a while I just disconnected and I have it sitting here because whatever I want to do this machine is more than 